Okay, this is part two to my uh my my thing about actors. So now I'm gonna explain why I do not like Dakota Fanning's. It's not to offend anybody, but it's just my opinion. Uh, so number one, she actually just. Whenever she voices Coraline, she's a brat, and number two, whenever, whenever she, um, she tries to act like Sarah Silverman, it's a lot more annoying with a high, high-pitched squeak. Not as high-pitched as Great Griffin, but, but her acting is just worse than Great Griffin, though. And number three, uh, so, in Lilo and Stage 2, uh, so, in Lilo and Stitch 2, they were just, she would just actively just be a replacement to, uh, oh, before her, before I say this, so, I'm, well, I, I'm gonna say that Will Smith's performance in, in Spies in Disguise in Shark Tale, his performances are pretty good, and, uh, but with Dakota Fanning, though, it's just, just, just her just being, just being immature and just, her just getting her way all the time, and I'm not like that, so, she's just spoiled, and she won't just act like her, just her own age, this is different from Grey Griffin, though, now that Dakota Fanning is, is now officially not doing any acting, now, I'm pretty relieved. Uh, it's it's just the fact that uh, with the thing in Coraline, she was like she was always just just trying to be like like Cameron Diaz and Sarah Silverman, trying to be Vanellope von Schweetz or or Princess Fiona. She does a horrible impression, and. Uh, she just mocks every single actor. She just mocks Cameron Diaz. She just mocks Sarah Silverman. She just mocks all the female actors. That's why she's just so... Why I, I never want to hear about Dakota Fanning anymore. And I'm also never watching Lilo Sage 2 ever again.